What is up, Fabrication Nation? Go back to the Fab Forums. I think it's time to do some more work on this thing. This episode of the Fab Forums is brought to you by WD40. To see their entire product line, visit WD40.com. Today I'm working on the Bibster. I really want to try to get that rear radiator shrouding, induction, venting, whatever you want to call it, kind of tightened up a little bit, get that those back panels made, and then uh, I can kind of see where I want to go from there. Who remembers this bit? If you remember when I built that, you're an OG subscriber. OG, original, no, OS, original subscriber. Let me try to find a place for that to go in the new spot. So in the last video, I kind of finished up the front panels on that thing, which turned out to be the easier panels to make. These back ones are pretty tough. They gotta to kind of go under the roll bars or the chassis, I guess, itself. And they weren't as easy as just doing simple bends either. It kind of needed a little bit of contouring, a little bit of shaping. So basically, I just started off with the templates that I'd made out of RAM board, kind of traced those out on some aluminum, cut those out, and then just bent them to the angles that I thought that they needed to be. As those pieces kind of went in the car, I had to kind of massage them by hand just a little bit. Nothing really I did was perfectly right. And so some of those angles I was flattening out, some of them I was kind of making them more, more dramatic than they were. Some on the same bend needed to be kind of tighter up top and looser on the bottom to kind of give it this, yeah.
Now, a message from our sponsor. I'm joking. Well, kind of. Raise your hand if you use WD-40. Mick, I don't see you raising your hand. So everybody knows of WD-40 and their staple products, but a lot of people don't know about their specialist line of products. This particular product here is the gel lubricant that WD-40 makes. This is their specialist line. And this stuff's cool. Let me just read off a couple little things for you. Prevents rust up to one year. That's good to know. Safe for multiple surfaces. Resist water and displaces moisture. Self healing protection. Now I'm guessing that that means if you like scratch the surface, scratch the, scratch the lubricant off of the surface, it will kind of self heal. So anyway, I like to use this stuff in the shop. Mainly what I use it for is like on some of my equipment that has like these adjusters, these Acme threads, I guess what they're called. And the reason I like this stuff over anything else is that it's easy to apply and it's not gonna go anywhere. Like once you spray it on, it's pretty much kind of stuck there. It's kind of the in-between between like a grease and just WD-40 itself. I think one of the things it says on here Lubricates 12 times longer than WD-40 multi-use product. So, there you go. Now, back to our regular scheduled programming. Really for the most part, it worked out pretty well. The same template was kind of mirrored on both sides, which is what you always want when you're kind of making these pieces. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work out like that just because, you know, the body's different or the, the tube structure's different or something's slightly different within, within the build. And so sometimes the same pattern won't work both sides. Happened that it worked pretty good for me on this one. I think what I'm gonna do as this thing kind of comes together, I'll probably make some trim pieces to kind of finish these panels out a little bit. The one thing I didn't do before I put these in was bead roll them. So if you've seen some other videos, usually I'll kind of do the bead roll pattern before I start bending them up. Well, I didn't do that mainly because that's that much more work you have to put into these panels before you even see if it's gonna fit or work. And so, not that I didn't want to do it, but I felt like I could kind of go back later. If it needed a little lipstick, I could do that after the fact. I've said it in videos past, Sometimes what I do or how I film it makes it look pretty simple. Uh, not that it's terribly hard, but it is extremely time consuming. You know, a six minute video, putting these panels together might give somebody the idea that it could be done in an hour. But in reality, this took, took me almost two days between just the pattern making, the cutting, the bending, the fitting. You know, you gotta make sure that all that stuff is just right. Now I say two days, like a couple hours each day worth of work, but still, probably a four to six hour job just to make these back two panels for six minutes of footage. Vision without execution is just hallucination. So try not to hallucinate, try to take my vision, put it into this thing, and uh, we'll execute. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.